We've all felt it before in one way or another. That certain variant comes along and all of a sudden our eyes itch, our nose runs, our throat tightens, and then a perfectly healthy person becomes miserable having to deal with their allergies. People experience allergies in different ways and suffer in different intensities, but overall it can be explained by an overimmune response to foreign substances that enter the human body. These substances are normally harmless, but in some people the immune system overreacts and causes an allergic outbreak. What is an allergy? An allergy is defined as a state of hypersensitivity to a normally harmless environmental antigen. It results from the interaction between an antigen and antibodies produced by earlier exposure to the same antigen. Allergies are known to be one of four forms of hypersensitivity, specifically type 1 hypersensitivity. They are characterized in this way by excessive activation of specific white blood cells, called mast cells, and basophils by the antibody IgE. Allergies have varying effects of severity, ranging from a runny nose to breathing difficulties or even death by asphyxiation. There are four types of sources from which allergic reactions stem from. Skin contact, injected materials, ingestion, and inhaled materials. Depending on the individual's immune system response to the foreign body, the degree of symptoms vary. Inflammation of the affected area occurs and the person is almost immediately hit with the adverse effects that the allergen caused by entering the body. Skin contact allergens are allergens that cause an immune system response by way of diffusing through the cells in the skin and causing irritation of the area. Rashes are most common when it comes to skin allergies. The infected area becomes inflamed, red, and itchy. Poison plants such as poison ivy, animal scratches, pollen, latex, and metals are common skin allergens. Depending on the immune system sensitivity, adverse effects from even minimal contact with any of these allergens can occur. Injected materials such as such as insect venoms, vaccines, drugs, and therapeutic proteins can also be another cause of allergies. In this case, insect stings are a good example. If a person is allergic to a bee and is stung, they must seek medical treatment immediately since the venom is slowly being distributed throughout their bloodstream. The immune response to the allergen causes blood vessels to constrict and lungs and throat to close, resulting in difficulty in breathing for the person. Allergies via injected materials have much more serious consequences than skin contact allergens with difficulty in breathing being the most common symptom. Allergies via ingestion have quite a range of symptoms. Food allergies are mostly to blame in this case, but allergies to medications are also common. Depending on the severity of the allergy, a rash can occur and inflammation throughout the body is common. Ingestion allergies often cause airways to severely itch and eventually close up if medical treatment is not found. In a mild case of ingestion allergies, diarrhea can occur. The allergen upsets the gastrointestinal tract and stomach area and the allergen is forced out of the body. In severe cases, such as with the baby in the picture, the allergen irritates the affected area and is then spread throughout the body via the bloodstream. Probably the most common type of allergens are inhaled allergens. Seasonal allergies to pollen, mold and mildew, and other such environmental factors cause our eyes to itch and water, and the sneezing never seems to cease. Dust mice, shown in the picture, are another common inhaled allergy, along with animal dander. These types of allergies also have a wide variety of symptoms, including difficulty breathing, hives, rashes, and the all-too-common sneezing and itching. So just how exactly do allergens affect the immune system? Allergies or type 1 hypersensitivity reactions are caused by protein allergens binding to IgE molecules and activating mast cells. The activated mast cells can release a variety of chemical mediators that collect to form a local state of inflammation. Smooth muscles constrict, blood vessels dilate, and eosinophils and basophils enter the affected area. This chart shows a summarized explanation of how allergens act once they enter the body. Allergens enter the body near mast cells. B cells are alerted and turn into plasma cells, which release IgE. IgE binds to the mast cell and releases histamine the next time the allergen is introduced to the body. The histamine causes the allergic reaction once the familiar antigens enter the human body once again. What are some strategies used to limit the adverse effects that allergens have on the immune system? One way is to prevent the allergen from ever coming into contact with the person. The picture shows a common allergy test that is performed to, to determine exactly what individuals are allergic to. The person is subjected to a number of different allergies via pinpricks encoded with the allergens. If the area becomes inflamed, the test is positive and the person now has knowledge of exactly what they are allergic to. By knowing what you are allergic to, a person can modify their behavior or environment so that contact with the allergen is avoided. 
Pharmacological treatments are also available if the person is not able to modify their lifestyle to avoid the allergen. Pharmacological treatment involves the use of drugs to reduce the impact of any contact with the allergen. The drugs block the effector pathways of the allergic response and limit the inflammation after IgE-induced activation of the mast cells. Seasonal allergies are often treated in this way since it is near impossible to control allergens in the outside air. This is also an option for people who are allergic to pets but refuse to modify their life to not have a pet. Antihistamines, such as Allegra, Singular, and Benadryl, are available to help control allergen response by preventing histamine from being released into the body. Finally, there are immunological treatments available to help control the effects of allergies. This type of treatment is, is involved with the prevention of the production of the allergen-specific IgE. It is achieved by modifying the antibody response so that it shifts from the dominating IgE to that of IgG. This is given in a series of shots, a procedure called desensitization. The dosage of the allergen injected gradually increases until the patient is eventually desensitized to the allergen. Allergy shots are usually recommended for patients with severe allergies or many different allergies which cannot be prevented or sufficiently treated by using antihistamines. Allergic reactions are very common throughout the U.S. Mil millions of people suffer each year because of the overimmune response. The symptoms that occur after IgE is released from plasma cells and then histamine is released in the bloodstream varies from person to person. By better understanding why allergies occur and what you are allergic to can greatly reduce the suffering of many people.